All right, PSA 2 for the channel. This is the ANET A8 printer, uh, heavily modified. Been working on different types of bed materials, how to kind of utilize the best bed material for the material you're printing with. Uh, so far, we made our own magnetic flexible build plate. Um, I had a fan issue on the last PSA, printed one of those off. At any rate, I've been experimenting with how to get this. I believe that's an inductive sensor. It's 8 millimeter. It's a Tronix, Trons, Tron X Y? Sure. Tron X Y. Um, 8 millimeter sensor. How to get that to work with a glass plate because my bed is warped, the aluminum. So what I've done here is I took a 20 mil piece of galvanized steel and I cut that to fit the bed and it seems to be working through the glass quite well. Let's see if I could zoom in there. There you go. Yep. It's a little hairspray on the glass and we're good. But I thought I'd do a little PSA on it to, to let you know that the 3 mil glass with this sensor seems to work. Um, as long as you have some, tor some type of ferrous metal underneath. And uh, yeah. So, having abandoned the flex build plate, I just really like glass for PLA. I'm a big fan. Uh, we keep the house pretty cool, like 66 degrees. So when it's done printing, it cools down and the part just pops right off. So, Well, have fun. Lay down some layers. Talk to you later. Let's get serious for a minute. Look at that. Look at that auto level through glass. Look at that layer.